Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. APC begs Atiku Abubakar Bukola Saraki, Aminu Tambawa, Samuel Hotom, others to return back to the winning party ahead of 2023. The All Progressive Congress APC has on Sunday called on prominent politicians who are defected from the party to return back to the ruling party. Niger Star Media Lent. It mentioned former Vice President Atiku Abubakar Governor Aminu of Sokoto, former Senate President Bukola Saraki, and Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State, who left the APC for the People's Democratic Party PDP, and others who left for other political parties. The call comes after Senator Barnabas Jemert and a former Speaker of the House of Representatives Yakubu. Dogara and others joined the APC after his stint at the PDP ahead of the 2023 general election. Jemade, a former national chairman of the, P of the PDP, was said to have on Saturday abandoned the Social Democratic Party SDP, on which table he contested the Benway North Hill Senatorial District election in 2019 to rejoin the APC while he left at the wake of the election which he ended up losing heart. After Jemade defeated back to the ruling party, an emboldened APC said that it is open to welcome back Atiku Tambawa or Tom and any of the former members. Wow, you can, you can imagine. Shame to this APC party. In fact, they are supposed to cover their face with shame. Now they are begging people to come back. You can imagine this. This is to tell you that APC is going down. This is to tell you because the fact is that why is APC always kneeling down to beg people? If the party is not doing well, it is the people that would beg to come in. So the party don't become a beggar party. And now they have turned themselves to a beggar party. Trust me, these people, they, they are not ashamed of themselves. Look at what uh, um, Adam Zoshomale and the other guy did. He's uh, a yamo. In the midst of the herbers, Nini down. Doing all sorts of, all sort of, all sort of things. Because they want, to, they, they want to win the elections. And this is to tell you that many people have left the APC party because of their evil hearts. And now they've turned themselves to a big beggar. You can imagine. They're not even ashamed of themselves. They are not at all. The fact is that uh, if Nigerians can come together as one to vote different people into political offices through a different parties that is outside of PDP and APC, that would be good. And I think Nigeria will move for we actually move forward because the cabals destroying these nations are in these two parties. The fact is that even APC and PDP, what makes the difference? Are they not tips? They are a bunch of thieves. And that's just the reality about it. That's just the thing. Those people joining APC, they should come out boldly to tell us the very good things the party has done since 2015. That should enhance continuity. We all remember how much a liter of petrol was sold. Why coming on? 87 Naira. And today, how much is it? It has skyrocketed. Up to 143 Naira, even proposing 150 Naira this money. So what are we now talking about? You can imagine a bag of rice that was 8,000 Naira. Today is now what? 25,000 Naira. Everything has even increased. There is no benefit that these people have done to the government, to, the, to Nigeria. APC has not even given the Nigerian citizens any good benefit at all. And similarly, a bag of cement that is 1250, it is now 1200. So what are we now talking about? So anybody supporting this party is either such person is a selfish person. Because we all know everything that is going on. It has not been good. But may God help us. May God help us. That's just the thing about it. You know, people were saying that nobody is willing to welcome back hardship again in Nigeria. People are tired of hardship. They said that's confessions of their failure 
You people never see anything yet. APC is the most useless party ever. Must we recycle hold carcasses? Do we still have genuine politicians in Nigeria? You know, they said that you are technically looking for presidential flag bearer for 2023. APC useless party. You know, many people were saying a lot of things because they know that uh, this present administration has not been favorable at all. That's just the reality. People said that those who want Atiku Abubakar to join APC, why? Since nobody invited him to ruling party. But now APC don't have tangible candidates to win Nigerians at home. It can be possible Saraki and two others, but not for Abu Atiku Abubakar. And the fact is that PDP people, they don't listen to APC because they know their evil agenda too. All of them, what makes the difference? What makes the difference? I don't know of the same this thing. It's just that one past one. I don't know full of corruption. They are corrupt, corrupt set of people. May God help us. These are our Nigerian leaders. They are nothing to write them about. But the fact is that APC has failed this time around. With this, their evil agenda. They have done worse than what we accuse PDP of. For APC to remain beyond 2023 means most of the minority stripes in Nigeria will be eliminated under their wash. And the government sponsored Boko Haram. It was during uh, President Muhammad Buhari that this Boko Haram increases. It was during his time that the insecurity increases. Many things, many bad, bad things increases. Full of new militants, bandits, kidnapping and the rest. And those who are benefiting from this in human hearts are strong APC big shot. Only God can help Nigeria from APC hand. We're just praying that God should take charge of these situations that is going on in the country. It's not a good thing at all. It's not a good thing. So guys, what do you think? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. God bless you. Bye.